Hi friends, welcome back to the art room with Mrs. Nolte. Today we are going to be making some textured papers using a jelly plate, some tempera paint, and white paper. Using a cool palette this time rather than a warm palette. We're going to be using green, blue, purple, teal, and then there's white and black if you would like to make a shade or a tint. You can combine two colors because they are analogous colors next to each other on the color wheel when they mix they will not get muddy so the colors will still stay fairly bright. Make sure you have a nice smooth coat of paint on your plate. Normally we'd be using a roller but because we're on a cart right now we're going to use the back of a paint brush. I'm going to carve in a texture into the wet paint by using the back of the paintbrush to gently carve in some texture. This was going to be a furry one or a hairy one. I'm going to lay a clean piece of mixed media paper or watercolor paper on my plate. Give it a very gentle rub. Don't push too hard and then I'm going to pull my plate. So there's my print. It's um, got a nice texture on it. Now I'm going to pull a ghost print lay a clean piece of paper on it, massage it, and I might put a little more pressure this time because there's less paint on the plate. Pull this off. There we go. That's a good ghost print. Now I'm going to re-ink the plate. This time I'm going to use a blue and purple combination. And again, you want to make sure it's nice and smooth that you don't have big blobs of paint. And it should be um, opaque enough that you can't really see through the plate. This one's going to be a bumpy pattern. So I made a bumpy texture. Add a clean piece of paper. Give it a gentle massage. Don't hit it. Don't use your fingernails. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to use my ghost print over the other ghost print that I made. So I get an overprinting. There we go. Now I got two colors on there. Now I'm going to do a teal with some dark blue. And this time I'm going to do um, a spiky, a spiky texture. This one has a lot of energy. Clean piece of paper. Give it a nice massage. Don't use your fingernails. Keep your hand really flat. And then pull your print. Awesome. And I'm going to do my ghost print on top of the other ghost print. So I'm just building up layers. This time I'm doing a purple. And I think I'm going to add a little teal in with it. And I'm going to make this one um, look like scales. Okay, now for this one we're going to make um, a woven pattern so it almost looks like a woven fabric. I'm going to use a stripe of green and black on my plate and then I'm going to smooth it out so there's no um, big lumps of paint because if you keep it lumpy it will uh, squish when you put the paper on it and you won't be able to see the design or the texture that you carved into the paint. So I'm going to do a stripe with the back of my paintbrush and I'm going to go the opposite direction, almost like a checkerboard, but I'm going to alternate. I'm going to make a little space between these two. There we go. Put one more right there and then I'm going to put a clean piece of paper 
on top of my plate and I'm going to very gently pet it down. I have a lot of paint on here. I could feel it kind of squishy. So I'm going to just really gently give that a, a rub. There we go. Not too bad. And again, I'm going to make a ghost print, but I'm going to print this um, on top of the other ghost print. Except I can't find it, so I'm going to use a clean piece of paper. <laughs> there was a lot of paint on this one, so I think I'm going to just try to do a second pass at it. I put it on thicker than I thought. Yeah, that one works too. Okay, great. I got two good passes on that one. All right, so now I'm going to take a plate that I did with my warm colors that I wasn't 100% thrilled with. It's okay, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, an overprinting on this one. So I'm going to use a contrasting color. I'm going to use kind of a, a purple and white combo here. And I'm going to make sure I smooth out the ink. There we go. And I'm going to uh, do a bubble. I think I'm going to do a bubbly pattern on this one. So using the back of my paintbrush, I'm going to draw into this, into this nice wet paint. And this is like a reverse drawing. So I'm taking away the ink or taking away the paint so that the paper below it's going to show through. So I'm making a bubbly or a foamy pattern, a foamy texture on this plate. And I'm going to print on the pink paper that I have here because I wasn't overly thrilled with how this one turned out. Again, super gentle because I have a lot of paint on here. Don't squish it down or you'll lose your design. I'm going to gently massage it with my hand and then when I pull it anywhere that the um, circles were drawn you can see the pink is starting to show through. Ah, I think this is much better. Very happy with that. Uh, and I'm going to do my ghost print on top. It's a good way to clean your plate and it, you might get a kind of a fun surprise. There we go. I got a bunch of texture on this one. Okay, and now I'm going to show you one last little trick here. So I'm going to do an overprinting so that I'm doing multiple layers. So I just made some little black marks. I added that just to add a little contrast. Now I'm going to take, um, I'm going to get some of this black paint off of my brush. Clean that brush off. I'm going to use that plate there. I just want to add some, a different um, texture on it. I'm going to get the extra paint off my brush. I am going to paint in some white. And remember, there's a little bit of black still on my brush, so that's going to give me a soft gray. And I want to make sure I smooth it through. I'm looking for some contrast between um, my plate, the green plate, the print that I have to my left here. So now I'm going to block some of this paint off by adding some little strips of paper. And then I'm going to draw a little bubbly pattern around it, some texture and there's some of these empty spots. Okay, then I'm going to do the overprint. Hold it down with my hand, give it a little squish. I'm not going to push down too, too hard. Any place where the uh, paper was is going to block the ink from attaching and that's why I can still see some of the green. And that's a way to block block some of the paint from transferring over. But that just makes kind of a different uh, texture pattern on there. And that's it. We got a bunch of different uh, cool color palette prints here that are going to make some wonderful collage paper. Actually, we got a lot, so that came out good. All right, gang. See you all later. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.